At the Yakovlev Center in Komsomolsk on Amur, the domestically produced interior of the passenger cabin for the SJ-100 airliner was installed for the first time. Previously, the cabin was supplied by the French company Zodiac Aerospace, but the import substituted version of the airliner now features a Russian made cabin. This version offers several advantages. It is easier to install decorative inserts into the window panels, and the window shades will no longer wear out during use. The design, production, and installation took less than two years. The interior was fitted to ensure the compatibility of the fuselage structures and interior modules, as well as to test and evaluate the performance of technologies and materials. The interior was created by specialists from the Kazan-based company Aviation Interiors. This company creates interiors for Russian domestic planes and has even equipped the Russian presidential plane's cabin. The test aircraft was fitted with three kitchen modules, two restroom modules, 18 overhead luggage compartments, window and ceiling panels for the passenger cabin, ceiling panels for the service areas, and a wardrobe for the pilots. During the installation, we identified minor issues with the fittings, which have already been successfully addressed. We are expecting the delivery of the door frame coverings and the door itself shortly, said Vitaly Tsivilkov, a representative of Aviation Interiors. Earlier, the Russian aviation telegram channels posted a picture of the toilet module to be installed in the plane. Judging by the first photograph, the restroom is done in shades of gray. Overall, the layout of the main elements hasn't changed compared to the foreign counterpart. To enter, you need to open a hinged door that opens fully and likely takes up the entire aisle. In the image, you can see the sink, compartments for used paper, and other secondary details. However, the main feature of the domestic module, the toilet itself, remains unclear as it is hidden behind a wall. The interior is an important part of the aircraft as it affects the overall performance of the plane. For example, in September it was reported that the modernization of passenger cabins in Swiss International Airlines Airbus A33300 wide-body aircraft has led to an unexpected result, a shift in the aircraft's center of gravity. The new first-class suites turned out to be heavier than the previous ones, while the weight of the economy class seats has decreased. Currently, as part of preparations for the launch of the new Swiss Senses product, scheduled for the winter season of 2025 to 2026, the entire A33300 fleet of the Swiss airline, consisting of 14 aircraft, is being converted. Following general trends, Swiss is offering more personal space and privacy to its premium passengers, with sliding doors in the first-class suites serving this purpose. SSJ New is a modified version of the regional jet passenger aircraft Superjet 100 with maximum replacement of imported components and systems with domestic ones. The Superjet New project was initiated by the Ministry of Industry and Trade after the introduction of Western sanctions against Russia. In parallel with the replacement of components, the reliability indicators of the systems and the level of comfort, safety, and airworthiness support will be improved. The SSJ New will be equipped with the Russian PD-8 engine. In early 2023, key parts of the aircraft were delivered to Novosibirsk, the fuselage and wings produced at the UAC plant in Komsomolsk on Amur, as well as vertical and horizontal tail elements from the Novosibirsk aviation plant. The testing agency, SIB NIA, plans to complete testing of the SSJ new passenger aircraft in May 2025. The Siberian Aviation Research Institute began testing in early 2023. Now, do you think Russia should not have given such work to foreign companies? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.